Colin Brown now at the side set. Colin, this team had a tough start, but they're looking good now. Well, yeah, Brad, adjusting to a new coach and a new roster of girls wasn't easy for the Lady Lancers, but they seem like they figured it out. Start of their season, one and six in their first seven games, but in the last seven games, they've been three and four. So they're, so they're really improving. What are they doing well in those games? Well, you know, uh, they've been working the ball inside a lot, and that's really worked out for them. Cheyenne Singer, she's the obviously the best one on the team. She gets double teamed a lot, so they have to find someone else to step up. I think Megan Thompson is that girl. Against Miller uh, a week or two ago, she had eight, eight points and seven rebounds, which is good for the Lancers. Uh, some of their shots don't necessarily fall sometimes, which that happens, but then you have to get offensive rebounds. And that's where Megan Thompson and Cheyenne Singer really come in. All right, Colin, looking ahead to this week, they've got tough matchups with Waterford and Belpre. Those are two teams that beat them earlier in this season. Well, yeah, against Waterford, they lost 59-10. to And against Belpre, they lost 69-34. to But Belpre has really been struggling lately. They've lost four of their last six games, including one of which was to the Trimble Tomcats. All right, so what will be the difference then this time? Well, the games are at home, and that's, uh, you know, they like their home cooking. They've had three, three of their four wins have been at home, so, you know, get some good dinner, that home cooking, and they'll be good to go. All right, nothing like some good home cooking there. Thanks a lot, Colin. Colin, this team has obviously made some adjustments. Oh, yeah, for sure, Brad. They've been making moves this past week. They played against Miller and Eastern, two teams that they've already beat, so the confidence uh, meter was real high for them. Uh, they, on Tuesday, they beat Miller 73-42, to and on Friday, they beat Eastern 51-27. to So they've just been blowing teams out this past week. But according to the standings, that's two teams or two games that they should win. So when you win those games like that, that really makes you happy. With the two wins, they jumped to 7-6 and six overall, so that's over 500. And in conference, they're 6-4. and four. And by improving to 6-4, and four, now they're third in the TVC Hawking. All right, do you think they can keep the, that momentum going into next week? Well, they should be able to. On Tuesday, they take a two-game win streak into Wahama to see if they can make it three in a row. They've all, their biggest win streak of the season is two, so they've already matched that. So if they get three, that, that'll just be crazy for the Lancers. And the first time they played Wahama, they won 59-47. to However, that was at home. This time, they're on the road. The Lancers are only 2-5 and five on the road compared to 5-1 and one at home. So that's really where their struggles are at. But in the big picture looking ahead, they have six remaining games. Of those, four are on the road. And of the six teams they're playing, they've already beat two of them. However, when they rematch uh, those two teams, they'll be on the road this time. So we'll see how that turns out for them. So Brad, figuratively, the road ahead may have a few bumps for the Lancers. Thanks, Brad. Well, Colin, what was up with this those Lady Lancers last week? Well, Seth, this Tuesday, the Lancers played against Waterford, who beat the Lancers 59-10 to the first time they matched up. So odds of an upset brewing in Stewart were slim. Waterford only played their starters for about two quarters, and they ended up winning the game 51-25, to led by Emily Brown with 14 points. Now, what killed the Lancers was their turnovers. Between point guards Carly Tabler and Ashton Kale, they, they had 25 turnovers. You can't have that out of your ball handlers. So the game was never close, but it was an improvement. Cheyenne Singer, uh, 12 points, 9 rebounds. Waterford, definitely always a tough opponent. What about the Lancers next week? Well, on Monday, they traveled to Trimble, a team they already beat 48-38. to And on Thursday, they traveled to Wahama, a team that they already beat 49-43. to So those two games were their only win streak of the season. Do you see it happening again, Colin? I'm going to say doubtful on that one, Seth. The Lancers are 1-6 on the road. Speaking of the road, Alexander was on the road this exactly. week. Exactly. Alex went back on the road this week, coming off their first win at Wilson, and they had Vinton County. Not only a tough team for anybody to play, it's a tough team for Alex, who's looking for just their second win. And, you know, they were hungry coming off of a loss to Athens. They, they were at the top of the Ohio, just like, much like Waterford was at the top of the Hawking. And they just out hustled everybody. They are stronger than Alex, and they simply overmatched the Vikings in every aspect of the game. Beating, er, Vikings outmatched them, beating them 56 to 27. So they couldn't get that second win in a row. Do you see them getting number two on the season? Well, earlier this season, Colin, they lost to Megs by only six. And the next game that they have scheduled against them, February 2nd. The other matchups they have, not so much. They lost to Athens and Nelsonville earlier this year by a combined total of 56 points. If they want to get another win, possibly, they're going to need a lot of strong play from Marilyn Rankin, Allison Malone, and definitely Kaylee Coker. 
definitely, Seth. Good stuff. And just like that production, we need the production out of you, Brad.